Nut button. Anon was digging through the old boxes in his room, as he do. He was searching for this book that he borrowed from Twilight a while ago. He's not exactly sure why he borrowed the book, because he's comically literate, but he has it nonetheless. Also, like the single brain cell troglodyte that he is, he always puts everything in these generic-ass looking cardboard boxes, which are all in the corner. Why he's so fucking weird, we'll probably never know. Anywho, yeah, he's found quite a collection of things. A half of a pencil, a tattered stuffed animal, a pink heart-shaped crystal, an old hockey mask with a crack on the upper left side, a weird mask connected to a backpack with large canisters on it, but no book. The search through these boxes was even more fruitless than the time Discord got drunk and headed on over to Sweet Apple Acres to try and bang Applejack. Or was it Big Mac? Anon can't really remember. Anon was just about to give up his search when he accidentally knocked over a box and tumbled out a few items. A bottle labeled Nero's Feel Good Water, a weird spiky headband thing, and... a button. Anon immediately went for the button and he held it up to his face. Not. A loud voice came out of the cheap plastic, which said the word that was printed on the blue button. Anon being the absolute fucking idiot that he is decided that this was more important than whatever the hell he was searching for beforehand. He was gonna have fun with this. Look, Trapina, I don't think a relationship between us would work. Twilight was sitting on her throne thing, with Spike sitting next to her snoozing like the lazy fucker that he is. Trapina Orange Blossom, local orange enthusiast and random friend of Twilight Sparkle, was proposing the idea of being in a romantic relationship with a princess, to which we know the answer to. Let's see where this conversation goes. But why? Trapina asked, visibly heartbroken, tears threatening to fall down her face. Well, first, contrary to popular belief, I'm not gay. Most of the time. Twilight stated, trying her best to act maturely. And second, I just don't feel that way about you, Trapina. Trapina looked down and sniffed. Hey, don't be sad. We can still be friends. Twilight smiled warmly and put her hoof on Trapina's shoulder. We can still hang out. Not. A voice, strange but powerful, echoed throughout the halls. What was that? Trapina asked, all hints of sadness gone, replaced with confusion. I don't know. Twilight said, looking around for the source of the voice. Spike was awake now and was looking around, crumpling stupidly. Ugh, where's the cannon? Cannon? Twilight looked down at Spike, slightly glaring at him. Spike, now's not the time for a reference! Not. It was the voice again, but this time it felt magnified. Twilight suddenly gained a look of frustrated understanding. Oh, Faust, damn it, Anon. She muttered, rubbing her head with her hoof. She looked down at Spike again. Spike, go tell Anon to shut the hell up. Not. Anon, shut the fuck up! Twilight screamed back at it. Not. Twilight screeched. Anon suddenly slipped into the room, a small button and a megaphone in his hands. Anon! Twilight snarled, her mane messy. What the fuck are you doing? Trapina and Spike looked at her in complete shock. I'm vibin'. Anon replied simply. What does vibin' entail? Twilight glared at him. Anon was still unfazed. Oh, you know, annoying you. Anon grinned. Well, you're doing a pretty good job, Spike said, snickering. Spike, shut. Twilight said simply in a deadly whisper. They all sat in silence for what seemed like a long time. You know, Twilight, I've always wanted a nut all over you. Anon chuckled stupidly. They all looked at him, Twilight and Trapino appalled, and Spike confused. Why would you want to throw nuts at Twilight? Spike asked, scratching his chin. Or maybe you're saying you want to eat nuts with Twilight? Why don't you just ask her, dude? I'm sure she'll be fine with it. Anon's grin was massive. He walked over to Twilight, who was stuttering incoherently, face extremely red and leaned over, holding the button in front of him. Twilight, may I? Not. With you. Twilight looked manic, her eyes twitching crazily, and her face still very red. Trapina looked at the button that Anon was holding with an inquisitive look. Hey, can I see that? Anon looked at her. Uh, yeah, sure. He handed it over. Trapina looked at the button and propped it in her left hoof, held her right hoof over it, and began to rapidly press the button. A fast, ungodly chant rang from the piece of cheap plastic. Uh, orange character I'd never seen before, I don't think you should do that. Anon said, trying to stop her until suddenly Trapina had crushed the small button between her hooves. Anon looked destroyed. No! He screamed in anguish, falling to his knees. My baby, the only one I ever loved! He sobbed uncontrollably. Twilight looked absolutely exasperated, but squinted at Trapina and slightly shook her head in what seemed to be disapproval. She then hesitantly patted Anon on the shoulder, an extremely tired look on her face. Spike was still confused. 
What does that mean, nut? <sighs> I'll tell you when you're older. Twilight sighed. Anon was back in his room, cradling the remains of his button as he walked over to a small, crudely made cardboard coffin. He tried his best not to lose control of the tears threatening to fall from his eyes. He gently laid the pieces of plastic and simple wiring with a coffin and closed it. He picked it up and carried it over to his closet. He opened the door to it and set it on the shelf near the top of it. Goodbye, little nut, Anon said, tears now falling freely. He closed his closet and walked over to a wall where a picture was stuck to it with a knife. It was a picture of Trapina, the pony that had mercilessly murdered his beloved. He glared at it with his bloodshot eyes. One day. One day. I got a small hunch thinking that if they ever make a sequel, they just might put in a yodeling pickle. Just maybe. Aside from that, this is hilarious as hell. Anyways, let's get on to our probably chaotic donators. Top donators, TacoCat598, Peter Coldhard, J10 Man, Darkseid, and only one thing. Zar630, Raiden, Narwhals, Black Moonheart, Pastel Skies, Austin Rollins, CrazyColor557, Stu Hex, Will, Omicron Lyrae, Chris, Michael Dale R. Moore, Dosbo, Delta Omega, Jack Edge, RuneSlife9852, Madman Stan, Leslie Perkett, Drake Love Dragon, Hunter Norman, Stephen Bingham, LineGod12, Sorcerer Constantine, Hudzaza, Convair, and many more amazing people. Thank you all so much for watching this video and live life to the fullest.